the whole time back, I'm complaining about my feet hurting and I'm bitching about why we left the horses behind. <laughs> that was your idea. I mean, that was your idea. Y- you didn't know? Didn't know what? Well, he didn't want me to tell you. We've only known each other for like a day or two, but he, like, Ross, he really looked up to you and. I get that. I mean, I'm not a good horse rider either, but apparently he was really bad at riding horses and he didn't want you to see him like that. So he wanted to, us to not bring the horses so he wouldn't look foolish. He was worried about looking foolish in front of you because he really looked up to you. Oh, wow. Well, he already kind of looked foolish most of the time anyway. I know. He didn't want to compound the issue. So, you know, being a bro, I was like, all right, we'll just have to leave the horses behind. <sighs> all right. But next time we're bringing the horses. Absolutely. Enough of this walking around crap. I'm chafing here. And we can even sell one of the horses too. And, uh, you know, because there's only two of us now. I'll take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Excellent. See, I was thinking this whole thing, number one, scouting report. We talk to the guards and we see if they want like some some scouting intelligence and that'll up our uh, our, our renown with them, right? They'll come to see us as like buds, which is cool. We need that. Also, what? What? Uh, we need them to see us as buds. What tangible benefit could that bring us? Because we're going to be setting up shop in here, and you're going to be starting shit like every store you walk into. So the guards, if they know us, they'll be less likely to give you a beat down. What are you saying? I'm going to be starting shit on every store I walk into. Literally, you've walked into two different stores. Yeah. And have started shit. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe the third store will be different. The world is a... uh Place of many possibilities. That's true. We're on a frontier right now. The borderland. They keep on the borderlands. This is a frontier. You know what that means? It's like a boom town. I don't know if that word actually means anything in this time because, you know. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. So it's growing. And and I figure, sure, we rode off and got our asses kicked and had to run away. But I think that was just the setback we needed. Okay. We had big heads. We were looking at this whole situation all wrong. Like, we're going to go around sticking our swords and shit into people? No, no. You know what I saw when I looked around the keep? Besides you, like, scuffling with a bunch of people all the time for no fucking reason? (laughs) There was, like, one in, and, you know, maybe you could talk the wench into coming back to your room, but I didn't see any whores. I didn't see a brothel. This place, we're on the ground floor. I think we need to start recruiting, get a stable, get some girls. There's, like, 40 people in this town. Yes, we're on the ground floor. And you, you could heal all the, the syphilitic shit. And you could be the muscle. I'll be the brain. You'd be the muscle. Hmm. I, I am known for my muscularity. Just let it marinate. You know, as, as we walk into the keep, just see the possibilities through my eyes. So what's your plan here is to become like the criminal mastermind of, of some, you know, podunk keep out here on the borderlands? It's a podunk keep right now, but just wait. I don't know what kind of potential you see in this town. That's good. That's why that's why you're the muscle. <laughs> I'm not really muscle. That's not really my function. I'm spiritual muscle. The ladies of the night will need a lot of that. Hmm, that's true. Just keep it in mind. Ladies of the night, huh? Yeah. All right, we'll keep this shit in mind. Just be on the lookout for starving, willing to do anything. A widowed lady with like five kids. That's where we start. (laughs) All right. We'll keep our eyes peeled with that. Sweet. Perhaps your words have wisdom. We shall see what the future brings us. Excellent. And do you think we need like a team name? Hmm. Well, there's two of us. I don't know if we really constitute a team. All right. How about this skank in the tank? I don't know if I like being referred to as the tank. That implies a whole series of uh, expectations from me, which I am incapable of fulfilling. We'll call that plan B. You know, if you you come up with a good plan A, then... Hmm. Skank in the tank. Ow! Too bad about uh, Ross. He, he probably made it out, right? I mean, what was the last thing you saw? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he, like, 
like got captured and maybe we can rescue him later? Perhaps. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the plan we're going with. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna mount a rescue mission someday. So someday. I mean, there's obviously we gotta get a lot more people and better at skills, but you know, if you can just hold on, if you can just yeah, they're probably yeah. torturing him. Stay alive. We will find you. We will find you, Ross. Stay alive, no matter what occurs. I will find you. We we, we never leave a you. man behind. That's right. We'll get to it eventually. We're assuming he's captured and, and is being held prison. And they're doing like butt stuff to him, like kobold torture butt stuff. His chastity is is uh It's in peril. Violated nightly. <laughs> <laughs> but we both we both made a solemn vow. We made a solemn vow that we will return for him. I mean, it might take a few weeks, or you know, it might take a little while. Yeah. <laughs> but if he just holds on strong, then yeah, it's up to him to hold on. It's up to us to be the heroes and rescue him. Yeah. <laughs> we can do it. We believe in ourselves. We are going to sell his horse, though. <laughs> All right, um, you guys spot something off the side of the road. Holy shit! It's something. And it's off the side of the road. Yeah, by the trees over there to your north, to the north. It seems like a trap. I don't like it. Make perception rolls. Here it comes. Ah. I made the shit out of that. All right, good. It looks like to be a giant version of a shrew feeding on a corpse. No, oh, I don't like that at all. It's a shrew. It's coming right for us. Oh, fuck. How ironic that the world's smallest mammal is now giant sized. <laughs> It probably takes us like a minute or two to get over the irony of the situation. During that time, McTuffins, do you have a uh, missile weapon or are you just all bang, bang? I do, but I'm really shitty with it. Okay. Hence my plan. You go check it out and I'll cover you with a crossbow. I don't like the sound of that. (laughs) Why do I need to check it out? Okay. Should we attack or should we just keep going? Is it blocking the road? No. It looks like the guy has a full backpack of stuff. Okay, now we have incentive. Wait a second. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can drive it off. How far are we from it for now? 60 feet. All right, I have a plan. Most animals are terrified of man's mastery of fire itself. I'm going to light a torch. Ha ha! I load my crossbow and ready it. Yes, yes, cover me definitely. But I approach. I approach the slavering beast. All right. How large are we talking here? Is it horse sized? Let's say it's Great Dane sized. When you get close, it looks up and snarls at you with its long snout. I wave the torch at it. Ha! Fire! Fire! Okay. Let me do a morale check. That creature backs off a few feet. Yes! It snarls more at you. I shoot it. Oh, shit, a little warning. Hello! 15 plus 2, 17. Hit! Hello! Uh, oh, four! You hit it, it is wounded, and it is running away. He's taking my bolt with him. The shrew has been defeated! I say we take this as a win. We're getting XP from it either way. That's true. We'll take it as a win. High five. Yeah! My cutting plan to use the elements of nature itself. Okay, go through the uh, backpack and I'll cover you with the crossbow in case it comes back. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's going on. What's the situation like first? What even am I looking at here? It looks like a uh, human, possibly adventurer, leather armor, now ruined, of course, very big uh, holes in its back. From here through the woods, the damage of the shrew uh, seems to have been post-mortem. It's just eating the corpse. Interesting. Does he have other wounds on him, like from weaponry or something? Cut from a weapon. You're like a detective. Hmm. What if it was murder most foul? I'm suspecting it was. You see these injuries here. And a short sword, five iron spikes, a small hammer, 20 feet of rope. 20 feet? What a, what a weirdo. Maybe the other 30 got cut. Ooh, maybe if I tie it on the end of my ropes, it'll become even longer. Ooh, yeah. Well, I don't know if I need that much rope now. That might be too much rope. Well, norm- normally I'd ask if you have the not skill, but this is basic, so everyone does. <laughs> it's assumed I do. He has 10 gold <laughs> and a gem. He's got about a week's worth of uh, iron rations. You should take those since you were so verklempt over the cost of iron rations. 
I will. There's a small statue, too. Seems to be of a mage about to cast a fireball of some sort. Ooh. The legend beneath it reads Zeligar. Zeligar. And there's a map as well. It says Zeligar and Rogan, and it seems to be the keep is on the map. And it points to a location where Zeligar and Rogan are? That's correct. Are they the same place or different places? No, same place. Okay. And where is this in relation to the keep upon looking at the map? It seems to be around where the Cave of the Unknown is. It appears we now know something about the Cave of the Unknown. Zeligar we can identify now because we have a uh, little statue of. This Rogan individual we know nothing of except that he's probably got a very full head of hair. I was going to make a Joe Rogan joke, but that's better. You think we should check out the area here? God, that sounds a little too brave for uh, Skank in the Tank right now. We sound like morning disc jockeys. <laughs> <laughs> Coming at you, 6.30 a.m. with Skank in the Tank. Skank in the douche. Crazy Ira and the douche. I mean, 3.7. <laughs> we could check out the area, although, again, anything can one-shot me. Well, we're all in that boat, man. However, it's that or we just, you know, get jobs as tailors or something. I told you my pimp plan. How about this? I'm going to check if there's like broken branches. I'm going to use my innate Native American trekking skills. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Make an intelligence roll. That would be a wisdom roll, I would think. Why? Because I know it's like, you know, advanced D&D and stuff, but the tracking skill is wisdom based. Fine. Wisdom. Yeah, I made it. And I would have failed if it was intelligence. It seems to be coming from the north. Aha! You want to check out the woods here a little bit? Maybe there's, like, other people? Perhaps other victims of these foul bandits. This is gay. All right, shit, you go first. All right, fine. Jeez, all right. Let's go. Come on. Stealthily creeping. Stealthful creeping is a lost cause with my five decks and chainmail, so... All right, I patrol through the woods here looking for shit. Yeah, you see a bandit or someone up ahead. He looks like an unsavory character. Two unsavory characters. They've got us outnumbered and surrounded. There's two of them. That we can see. Do you want to go with your torch technique again? No, I just suppose it'll work on these guys. Fire! <laughs> just loitering in the woods up there? Looks like they're digging a hole. All right, what's the plan? They haven't noticed us. What if they're good guys? They look unsavory. Why is everybody always digging in the ground? The gnome was digging in the ground. Oh, he was burying a body. Maybe they're burying a body. I think they're burying a body or something. Or maybe they're like depositing treasure. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're depositing treasure up there. Should we go for it? Is that bad? Is that wrong? No, let's fucking shoot them. Let's go. Get them. All right. Uh, all right. Let's take the one nearest to us. Both of us will take them. The one nearest to us, we're both going to open fire on. Yeah. All right. You do the count because you're like the sneaky one. What if there's more? Well, then we fucking run. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. If it's just these two guys, we can kick their asses, especially if we get the jump on them. One, two, three, go. Ha-ha! Huzzah! I miss. Ha-ha! I got a 14. All right. Hold on. Let me look up their AC. These are going to turn to be like keep guards or something. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst adventurers. <laughs> What'd you get, Skink? 14. You hit him. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Damage, damage, damage. Four. Was it a sneak attack? Yeah. Oh so number one, you should have got plus four on your to hit, but you still hit him either way. And then times two damage, so eight. Yeah, double it. Yeah, eight damage. He's dead. Boom! Bam! Hey! What the hell? I right, charge. Ha-ha! Uh, roll for initiative. Ha-ha! Not good. All right, now there's three of them. I don't like this. There's three that we can see. See, so a guy slings at McTuffins. God damn it. Yeah, tank. Yeah, tank. That's a miss. All right, the other two come up. Your turn. Movement first. Are we engaging or are we fucking off? What's the plan? <laughs> if we engage, we, we could die very easily. Nobody lives forever. Ha ha. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> Skank, go first This is going to be a real quick session, I can tell 
<laughs> uh, Warhammer to the head. Gross miss. McTuffins, attack! Nine. Also a miss. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked. We're so fucked. What did we do? Why did we do this? Why did you make us do this? <laughs> <laughs> There's one on you, Rob. That's a miss. And gank. That's a hit. Nice knowing you, man. <laughs> Four points of damage. Oof. I'm dead. Or at least I'm out. All right, Rob, go ahead. All right, I'm going to clobber this fucker. Ah! Twelve. Hit. Hey, nice! Three points of damage. Dead. Oh, good lord. Tough hits! These guys aren't much tougher than you are. <laughs> okay, let me roll. When he sees you kill his friend, the other one decides to take off, Rob. Yeah, fuck off. Fear McTuffins. Failed him a railroad. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rob, what do you do? Skank, no! My boon companion! We've been through so much together! Like that time we ran from kobolds! Blah. And, and some other stuff! So what do you do? Yeah, cleric, he healer person. I'm going to try to prevent Skank from dying. Okay. Roll. Wisdom. Wisdom. Boom, made it! All right, you stabilize him. I call upon the divine force. Oh, Skank, I thought I'd lost you. Oh, he's still unconscious. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking to his body to make myself sound heroic. Jeez, man, let me role play. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's up to me to loot shit then. Let me look around and find stuff. All right, you see three other bodies here. Oh, dude, we're stamping out forces of darkness here. Yeah. Take that, evil. Actually, they look like uh, they're part of the same crew. That These guys have all been recently killed by someone. So unable to resist the crawling darkness that lurks within their souls, they turned upon one another given a lack of innocent victims. Now, I know what killed those two. What killed these three? It looks like sword cuts. Ah, so my initial surmise was most likely accurate. Looks like they all fought each other over something. What were they all fighting over? What's in that hole? What's the hole they were digging? It looks like a grave. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to poke around there. Yeah. There's a bag of stuff there. I open up the bag and see what's up. You find another statue and about uh, 15 gold. Gank, I found 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Is it also a statue of, uh, what's his name? Zelligar? No, this one says Rogan. What's the statue made of? Stone. That's a pretty decent haul. Is uh, Skank awake yet? You don't think he's going to be awake until the morning. It's probably not a good idea to move him. I don't want to stay right here, like right where those guys could come back. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to set this up like it's it's like something different happened here than really happened in case they're part of a bandit gang and the bandits come back. So I'm going to take these two bodies. And I'm going to move them close together and make it look like they were making out. I set up a little seed of a lover's quarrel. I love my dead gay son. Where they were happened upon by their three friends after setting the crime scene so cleverly. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab up Skank. I'm going to drag him back towards the road. Uh, uh, uh. Guy who weighs 95 pounds. Why the fuck are you so heavy? What time of day is it? It's getting near dusk. All right. I guess I'm staying at the woods line near the road tonight. No, second night in the woods. We're like campers. We're like mountain men. I know. This sucks. I'm not a ranger. Rangers don't even exist. I'm not going to build a fire. I'm going to curl up under a bush. This is getting way too familiar. Adventuring is supposed to be much more glorious than this. I'm supposed to be spreading the word of my deity. What happened? <laughs>